Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. We're diving into one of my favorite distilleries and some of the newest releases from that distillery. So hold on to your horses. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Jack Daniels Distillery Series Tennessee Whiskey Bourbon Finish in Oloroso Sherry Casks. That's right. You may remember such bottles as the Twice Barreled from 2022. That was a single malt finish in Oloroso Sherry. And like me, you may not be a, a single malt lover. You may say, oh, to hell with that, Bourbonville. But I thought the Oloroso Sherry influence was good on that bottle, but single malt just wasn't for me. Okay, but they've taken, I assume, probably the same Oloroso Sherry cast, right? They might have had some laying around. They might have said, we'll do some single malts and we'll do some bourbons. We don't know. But they just released this in December of 2023. Now, I know this is now basically April of 2024, but just was able to get my hands on this. These are sold as... 375 mils for about 45 doll hairs a bottle. Um, obviously at the distillery, um, but also I think other stores in Tennessee, like surrounding stores in Tennessee, you can also get it at. I don't think it's actually only distillery only, okay? Um, don't know how many of these there are, but this is pretty exciting. We're like, all right, this is good old Jack Daniels bourbon, finished in sherry. Probably better than the old, than the, you know, the single malt. We're gonna find out. Now, the particulars here, 90 proof, compute, compute, 45% alcohol by volume. I'm gonna say poor choice. Poor choice in proof. I, I probably, I'm probably gonna wanna see more proof. Just my guess. Now it says aged in handcrafted white oak barrels and then finished in Oloroso sherry casks creating the perfect sip for the season. I guess they meant winter, but it's spring now. We'll see how it feels springish to us. Selection number 12. Um, the previous selection to this was the tequila, Anejo tequila barrels, which I like that, but it, I'll link it above. Go watch my video where I did a bunch of these. Um, it got last. That bottle got last. That was my favorite, the tequila finish. All right, some notes. Tennessee Whiskey Asian Charred American White Oak Barrel said that. And matured for three additional years in Oloroso Sherry Cash from Andalusia, Spain. I don't know. I don't know if that's correct or not. One of my Spanish viewers let me know. Um, so interesting. We don't know the total age here, but three years in Sherry is long. That's a good long finish. So it's nice to know that at least. There are some tasty notes. Sweet citrus on the nose builds into a palate of rich baking spices, nutmeg and caramel, leading to a lingering finish with notes of red fruit. What? Probably from the sherry. Okay. So color for a 90 proofer. It ain't light. I mean, for that much water down, it's not that light. Okay. All right. What you want to know? Let's give it a nosing. Oh. Boy, that does smell quite rich and decadent. Surprisingly, I get like this, I get like a citrus, vanilla, caramel, and like a cherry pop on this. That's what I'm getting on the nose. Mm, gosh, it smells good. You, you don't get the traditional Jack Daniels banana here. I don't get that at all. Let's give it a sip. Wow, that is quite good. Mmm. It's pretty good. Now, Bourbon Bill's reading. I'm going with a B on this one. I think it's quite good. It's well put together. For 45 bucks, I think it's a great pickup. Flavors, it, it comes across as pretty silky smooth. Um, a little bit thicker than I would expect for 90 proof, but it's not a it's not a thick whiskey by any stretch of the imagination here. I get the Oloroso Sherry, which comes across like, like a red fruit cherry pop. I get a little hint of citrus. I get a lot of caramel in here. I do get the baking spices note on the end for me. And then I get a, just like a lingering faint cherry note. Um, what I guess before I had it, A, it's very good. I think it's one of the better distillery series they've done, but they've done such good ones. Like 
most of those are hitters. There's not really bad ones there. I just think it needed a little more proof. Now, how does that compare to my favorite Tennessee taster of all time? I still call them Tennessee tasters. The toasted pecan wood chips. There it is. Distillery selection Diaz or 10 for those. Now this one was 120 proof. Compute, compute, 60% alcohol by volume. The proof I think is usually what elevated this one, but this was a this was a fantastic little one here. We'll see how I'm gonna put in the green, we'll see how it compares. You know, no aging on this one, no aging notes on there. Just uh, finished with toasted pecan wood chips. They added them in the barrel, and there you go. And this was an October 2022 release, a little bit older, if you will. All right, here's that one on the nose. Oh, it's like a warm buttered pecan, caramel, some kind of pastry. Wow. Let's take a sip. Um, that one's... Oh, that was still my favorite. Oh, it's so good. A, the proof helps a lot here. B, you get the Jack Daniels, like, a little bit of banana, caramel powder, and then you get this, like, this just beautiful layers of, like, wood. I guess it's pecan wood. It's, it's so good. So good. Back to our Oloroso Sherry now. I mean, if you're a Finnish bourbon fan, this one this one might have the better nose, honestly, though. Yeah, just different animals. I mean, the Old Rosso Sherry is quite delicious. It's obviously fruit more fruit forward than the toasted pecan, but I just think the proof hurts it. I, I don't Maybe they wanted to get a lot out of this. I don't know. Maybe they only did, like, you know, one giant barrel. I don't know. But I think this would have served better, like 110-ish proof, you know, somewhere in there to really bring it out. But uh, but a great release nonetheless. You should pick one of these up if you're a fan of Jack Daniels. Now, that was that fun comparison, but how about another great... I think most of you know that one of my favorite picks of all time that I've ever had of Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof has been the Creston's Wine and Spirits. This is a dark, delicious pick. Darker in color than other picks I've had. Darker in color than the Shelfers. It's definitely got more age on it. It drinks more towards the profile of like Jack Daniels 10 year and like Coy Hill, which was like nine years old. Now, not that high proof, but you get what I'm saying. It's definitely an older pick than they usually do for the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs. But my good buddy Ken Wicker, thank you, sir, sent us a sample of Fred Minix. Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof pick and he said this one's really good you should give it a comparison and I thought heck why not now Fred's pick which I'll put a picture up on the screen it was on my phone here is 126.9 proof okay so all right you know this one is 131.2 proof a little bit hotter a little bit hotter So I got Fred's poured up here. Color's dark, but you know what? I'm gonna have to get another. I'm gonna want to do the color comparison, so I am gonna get another clear glass. Let me pour up the the all-time winner, the Crestons. All right, I got the Crestons in my right hand here. Oh, it's close. But the Crestons is a tad dark. Still a tad. I mean, I wish someone could investigate what age that Crestons barrel was, because that thing is phenomenal. In color, anyways. Boy, in taste. All right. The Fred Minnick pick. Now, Fred and I don't often agree on anything palette-wise. Uh, he's not a fan of oak, and this channel is a fan of oak. So, I don't know. I've never tasted one of his picks before. Let's see how it is. On the nose. Oh, it smells like banana cream. It's very, very good. But I'm just getting like a banana bread and caramel note. 
It smells pretty good. It's I think it's a little bit different than most. I mean, the Jack Daniels always has banana, but it doesn't have like it smells a little bit more vanilla cream than I typically get on the Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proofs. Let's take a sip. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, Fred, you picked a good one. That is the silkiest, smooth Jack Daniels barrel proof I've ever had. Never have one go down that easy. Drinks way under proof. Way under proof. It's got the banana. It's very caramel for it. It's got the, it's just got a traditional Jack Daniels profile. Goes down like liquid silk down the palate. Good man. I really like that one. That was a good pick. Now I think to buy that one was about like 85 doll hair somewhere in there. A little bit higher than traditionally. You know, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof shelfers are like 68 65 doll hair so i just don't like paying that much more for a pick just because it has fred's name on it all right here's the crestons now oh it has a little bit just like barrel char banana here is dialed back i mean it's there but it's dialed back and and we up the barrel char flavor on this bad boy Ooh. All right, let's take a sip. Oh, sweet heavens. Oh, Creston claims another victim. Oh, man. The Crestons drink so much more reminiscent of Coy Hill than the Fred Minnick pick. Oh, my God. Longer finish. Bigger, richer flavors. It's got this, like, barrel char, caramel thing going on. That if you've ever had Koi, it's hard to describe the flavors. If you ever had Koi Hill, it goes in that direction. Um, it's just, that's still the best pick I've ever had. Thank you, Ken, for that sample. It was quite delicious and quite unique for that product. So what have we learned tonight? We've learned that the Jack Daniels Distillery Series, Oloroso Sherry, is quite good. You probably should get one. It's probably not the best one they've ever done, unfortunately, I think because of the proof. I think that's the only thing that holds it back. If it had more proof, I think it would have won tonight in terms of these. And Jack Daniels is still putting out solid picks. Always, if you can, get a pick. The picks have almost always been better than a shelfer. I've never had a pick that was worse than a shelf bottle. If you saw tonight, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Have a good evening, everybody. All right, I just... We cut the screen black for a second, but I had to come back. I just thought of this special mixture. 50% Oloroso Sherry, 50% Creston's Jack Daniel Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Oh my God. That's where it's at. This now maintains the delicious caramel, barrel char, oak, a little bit of banana, and a sherry flavor on top. All at a higher proof. Let's take a sip. Oh, ho, 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 Jack Daniels, why don't you release that? Oh. Oh, man. That proof on that's not too hot. It's like, it's like great, perfect proof. So much flavor. Come on, Jack Daniels. Give us a high proof, high age with partial sherry finishing. That's killer. That's killer. All right, this time for real. Have a good evening, everybody.